And there's a balcony you could do Shakespeare off, Frank. Oh, I love balconies. Let's take a look at some of the action in the second round. A big jumping knee. You see his head snap back up. And he got caught by that jumping knee. But he didn't get the takedown to score the points on the judges. It just made, made uh, Gomez look like he was just jumping in the air. But it did land, but obviously not hard enough to do any damage. Get in here nice and solid. See that sweeping legs. Gets in and covers himself in the triangle. Gomez, very smart. Immediately tries to get to the triangle, but just couldn't get it. Had to go to full guard instead. Team from Frank Jackson's in the corner of Frank Gomez. It is a very polite corner in, in, from Greg, Greg Jackson's camp. It's always Mr. Trigg, and I would like to see you please do something. It's a very polite corner. Third round, set for five. An intriguing contest so far. The champion Pineda, the challenger Frank Gomez. Hands on hits from Gomez, breathing very heavily. As Frank said, signs of fatigue setting in now on Gomez following that weight cut. High left round kick from Pineda. High left round kick from Gomez. Who did you give the second round to, Frank? I gave it to uh, um, the second round I gave to Pineda because I really think he's starting to push the pace. He's starting to pick it up here. You know, it's, it's really starting to make this thing happen. Now we're at even fight again, and we're only going to go in the third round. Jump balking right hand, high left round from Pineda, missing the target once again. Throwing those power salvos without any real setup. Wants to be flicking the jab. Even fake with an inside thigh kick, then power through with the right cross. High right round kick was nice, but Gomez again saw it coming. Spinning back fist there from Pineda. You know, Michael, you and I have talked about this before. I think one of the most underutilized techniques in MMA is the jab. No one uses it to set anything up. You just kind of jump with a big power punch, hoping you land one of the two things you throw. I think a lot of these guys would be a lot better if they threw a jab behind it and kind of set themselves up. And you see there, he connects with the right hand because he threw the jab first. Must have heard you, Frank. Slip there from Pineda. Can Gomez capitalize? In the striking, Gomez is very flat-footed. And you feel Pineda will rue the missed opportunities with the striking. Now he's going to work on that right arm of Gomez. On the feet, I kind of see Gomez is starting to follow. He gets a high, he gets high kicked, he high kicks back. He gets a straight right, he throws a straight right back. He's starting to follow, which means he doesn't really have his own game plan on his feet. That's not good because he'll start setting the guy up very easily when you know what he's going to do next. Throw a quick jab, he's going to throw a jab back. He's slipping, come back in with a straight right. Back to his feet here is the champion, Pineda. Again, locking up that right arm of Gomez. And right in front of his corner, Pineda, he looks up for instruction. Can he find a submission? Takes the back here, does Pineda! Can he sink the choke on Gomez? He's got both hooks in, he needs to get him flat. Boom, here come the hands of the pit! Gomez in a lot of trouble! He's hitting around the hands, he's finding the holes. It's a bad spot for Gomez. Here comes the choke! Here comes the champ! It's good night, Irene! That was awesome! Wow, what a great position. Worn down, worn down, beat him up. He started seeing him get more and more flat-footed. Finally took his back, kept the hooks in nice and tight, didn't waste a lot of energy hitting the hands. He picked around the hands, found the holes, was able to get inside and finally get him to lift his head up and put the rear naked choke in. Great How position. good is Daniel Pineda? Let's take a look again here. You see Pineda, first of all, going to work on the right arm. Trying to step through, doesn't really have it, kind of gets in, finally gets the back set up. Pineda finally gets in there, and you see him, he's, he's got his shins all the way flat on the canvas. He's hipping in, he's following around the behind the hands, in front of the hands, finding the holes where the guy's unprotected to get him to lift his head up. Finally, Gomez lifts his head up and goes in that rear naked choke. And what a, a great job. Here it comes now, sinks the choke, locks out moisture, seals in freshness, gets the tap. Daniel Pineda retains the featherweight championship.